Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and in today's video we're going to be doing a super simple project for the kids for Valentine's Day. So without further ado, let's get into it. To do this project you're going to need some 8th inch plywood, some painting supplies from Amazon as well as some paint brushes. I will link everything in the description below. Uh, this is meant to be things that you can use for children's Valentine's Days at school. So these are items that you can make out of plywood, include a little paint kit, and then kids can actually paint these as a little craft. I find this to be a really good alternative to just buying regular Valentines. And to some point, they almost cost the same uh, as long as you're buying the materials kind of in bulk quantities. So first up, what I'm gonna do is take you over to the computer and show you where I grabbed all of these designs because this is a super simple way. I did not design the majority of these from scratch. I actually used Creative Fabrica to get most of what I'm doing. So let's hop over to the computer and I will show you what to do. As I mentioned, I am using Creative Fabrica for the majority of my work. So for this one, this first link is the design to the Cupid that I am using. So basically I downloaded one of these, picked out the one that I wanted and just turned it into a cutting file. The next one is the love in the heart shape. So same thing, I downloaded this, used that as my starting point, created a border around it and then made it so that part of it will be vector scored and part of it will be vector cut. Then I pulled a rose design and did the same thing, made part of it vector scoring, part of it vector cutting. And then I did one from scratch that just used some text. So really quick, I'm going to show you, these are the four that I'm making. So one that's more of a heart shape, one that is the love that's the text that I made, the Cupid and then the Rose. You can use any designs that you want. These were just four that I thought were really Valentine's Day oriented and would be good for painting. So from here, what I do is I go ahead and print this over to my laser. It is turned off right now, so it's not showing the camera, but for this project, I am going to be using the Epilog Fusion Maker 30 watt. So all of my settings for this are in regards to that machine. So for this, the red I want to vector score, the black I want to vector cut. Now I want my scoring to happen first before I cut out the full item. But for the black items, I'm going to select the eighth inch wood cutting setting that I have, which is 15% speed, 100% power, and 20% frequency. I do have it as inside out, so it'll cut out those little pieces before it cuts out the border. For the red, I'm going to select vector as well, and that one I have a vector scoring uh, setting for wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and import it. And the settings for my scoring process are 35% speed, 15% power, because I just want it to make kind of a kiss cut design. And then my frequency is 20. The Vector is also inside out on this one. So what I'm gonna do is boot up the laser, I will send the job over there and we will cut everything out and then I'll show you what they look like at the end.
All right, the laser just finished and here are the four items cut out. So you can really see how I design these. So this first one is the word love in the shape of a heart. You can see how it vector scored the red part of my design and then vector cut the black part. If I do flip it over, you don't see any of that scoring here. So it does just show it on the front. This is to help kind of give more of a paint by numbers feel to the kids so that they can paint within the lines and use different colors. The next one is the love text. Again, the red is vector scored, the black was vector cut. Then the Cupid design is just a solid piece. They can paint it different ways, but this doesn't have that paint by number feel. And the last one is the rose. So same thing, vector score, nothing showing on the back. And then they can go ahead and paint this different color. So a little bit of variety in the designs. I would probably just give these to the kids as is. If you wanted to be really particular, you could do a light sanding on these to get rid of any debris or residue, or if you masked it to begin with. But even then, I think the kids will enjoy these as they are. So the whole job on the maker took about four minutes, and that's not really optimizing this well at all. So if you're making a bunch of these, you're not gonna spend a ton of time on this. You'll actually probably spend less time making these for a class than you would going to the grocery store or wherever and trying to find Valentines between the time you drive there, shop for them, drive home. It might actually be quicker to just make them. But the cool part is you can take these and pair them with a paintbrush and a paint kit like this, which you can get off Amazon and you can buy them in quantities of like 15 or 20 or whatever it is. You can pair them with the cut items, put them in a little bag, and then the kids have a nice little craft that they can do for Valentine's Day. And they don't just get a bunch of candy or paper Valentine's that they most likely will throw away. So kind of a cool craft, gives them a little something different. And overall, I think they actually enjoy these more. I will put links to everything that I showed in this video. Now, I really encourage you to get them from Creative Fabrica if you're interested in getting the designs that I used. Um, but I will also leave links in the description to all of the paints and brushes. And I actually buy my Baltic birch plywood from a local lumber dealer. And if you're looking at buying you know, a sheet at a time, I highly encourage you to look at lumber dealers and not Amazon, it will be much cheaper. A five foot by five foot sheet of Baltic birch plywood that's eighth of an inch thick, I think cost me $15, maybe 20. So I get a lot of material out of that and it doesn't cost all that much. But that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment, where I share things along the way. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. But I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this, and I'll see you in the next one.